and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about seven exercises with bands that you can do at home that you can't do with weights. And right. that's... So we're doing a giveaway today, and it happens to be the bands. Yeah, Bob same. and Brad's set of bands here right. that you can use at home. And we're going to show you things that you just literally can't do with 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 uh, weights. Yeah, so, they come right here in a nice box and everything. Yeah. Look at the pipes on that guy. Yes. So if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section, and that, that way you can sign up for the contest. That's right. You can also find it on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top Absolutely. page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And we have podcasts. Let's get started, Brad. That's right. Okay, the first one is called the – I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Brad. Palov? Palov, Palov, Palov. Palov. It's, uh, so this is must be a Russian name, right? Well, so I don't this, know about it. This is the Palov Press. So you really want to have kind of a narrow base, Brad, while mm -hmm. you're doing this. And you – Boy, this is a lot. <laughs> oh, well, oh I, use the lower, I think that's, uh, that's the one I was supposed to that, use, the middle one. Yeah. I was wondering why that wasn't working very well. There we go. This is still hard, Brad. Ugh. Okay, so. You want me to take over, Bob? No, but can you see this? It looks easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it but does. But it's not. It's yeah. really working my core. So he's got tension on those yeah, bands. You want to make it easier, you go closer, and yeah. it's easy. You want to make it harder, you go farther away. And this is really tough. And you can also do circles. Oh, my God. My core is really burning here, Brad. Well, that's the whole goal. So he's, you know, his body is, is putting torque and rotation yeah. on there. And those core muscles are resisting. So you can do this, obviously, both ways, sure. too. You do, do it the other way, too. All right. Let's do some lats. Yeah, no matter how I think about it, I don't know how you can do lats with, with regular weights at home. You know what I mean? Like dumbbells. Yeah, dumbbells. Right, without cables. Without cables, yeah, right. Yeah, you got to have cables. So, going ahead. I'm tall, so I'm going to bring it down like this. There you go. Look at those lats. And you can see Bob has two bands here, the blue one and the green one. That might be too much for some people. You may want to go just one band or right. you may want to start. Resistance. You may want to start with one band. Wow. But lats take a lot. I mean, you know, if you really want to work that, yeah. I mean, you might want to... And that's why you can do pull-ups sometimes, too. Sure. You, know, work those you know, that one, I, I also do them actually laying down on the floor on the bottom anchor. But, you know. Oh, uh, sure. I don't know. We, we can, we'll, we'll show Lying some Lying on the floor. Lying, yeah. All right. Uh, the other one, for you therapists out there, these are P&F patterns. Right. Proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. But so the idea here is that you're not doing just a regular pattern, right. like lifting. You're actually, I'm. Going up from the upper right to down to the lower left like this. And if you just want to get some muscles that focuses on your pec major, your you know your chest muscle and your anterior delt, yeah, I do these on a regular basis. But you can actually stimulate uh, sporting events too. Step so yeah, I stepped away a little further to make it a little more difficult. It was kind of given away, but you can actually simulate events too, like throwing and. Uh, Tennis. Tennis, yep. yes, yep. exactly. Yep. So you can also go from the lower one and actually do the other direction, the other PNF pattern. Yep. So start from down lower left or lower right and go up to higher yep. right. And now if, if you want, you can squat down and get some oh, leg sure. motion in there too. And you'll be amazed how much that works your right quadricep right there because this is what I do. Three days a week consistently. Yeah, right? you like this one, don't you? I do. I really like this one. Both of those. Are my so favorite. you're getting a lot of muscle groups. You are. You right. Curls, but it's also working that cord and you're working the legs too yep. at the same time. So, Brad, you're going to so, show how you do swimming on this thing, oh, right? Oh, sure. You better believe it. Particularly, you know, uh, if you're a swimmer, you like to do lats, laps, you know, in the pool and the COVID. Uh, for quite a few months there, our pool was closed down. Uh, so this is a nice way, and I've done this just to work strength to get my speed up with swimming. And it, it did work, right? Oh yeah, it absolutely. And you can see why. It's funny you was at a you were at a plateau for kind of years, weren't you? Yeah. And this this kind of pushed you forward. Yep. 
my uh, 100 meter went from uh, 132 and I went down to 114 after working this. So you go here and you simply, you can see it's the same motion as swimming. Bob, can you go fill up? I saw this on a YouTube. Someone took a bucket of water. And, and threw first, it on you? Yeah, the, no, they put their face in the bucket of water. Was oh. full, and then they lift their face out of the water. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I would have thought about doing that, but well, we gotta do that for uh, Instagram. <laughs> Seriously. And then of course to to get it stronger, either more bands or simply back up, and then you can really work on strength. Whoa. Oh yes. And it's fun. All right, Brad, you're gonna do some legs. Do you wanna use this one? Sure, let's give it a go. Now, with legs, you can use these straps or Velcro straps. They do come with a set, and you wrap it around. Yeah, the cuffs. Velcro. Yeah. Um, I've got one on already on this leg. And you just simply hook it up here. Now, you may or may not need something for balance, but we're going to work just some typical hip flexion, like you're kicking a ball. It's or, really good for soccer players, too, as far yeah. as going doing the cross. You know, going across the body. Yeah, so you're going to go yeah, like, like this. Yeah, like this. Yes, exactly. But just anybody that wants to work on their hips and balance. Now, if I do this like this, all of a sudden I get hip strengthening, a lot of balance. My left leg is actually doing a lot of work here with balance. Stabilizing. Yeah, stabilizing. And that's something that you really don't realize until I actually do it. And you can go all you know, four directions. Remember, safety first. Um, don't try anything that you're gonna, that's going to make you fall. Yeah, yeah. If you're not used to this, you may feel you'll get quite pulled wildly. right over. Yeah. Right. All right. I'll show a posture exercise, Brad, and then uh, you can finish off with the running or the <sighs> kind of the core strengthening. So these are ones you can possibly do with weights. Um, you could lie on your stomach and you know do weights, but there's so much easier um, using the bands. So you can get the upper, lower, and metal traps, and you get the rhomboids. So you. I like to go back and actually go back and then externally rotate. This is probably a little more than I'd use. Yeah. But you can see he's really focused on getting these muscles to retract and pull those shoulder blades Now you can back. just go back too, like this, and squeeze the shoulder blades yep. together. But I like to go back and actually externally rotate the shoulders. That's really works them. Yep, that little bit of motion is pretty oh. subtle, but you can feel it big time. Right. And you can go, you know, you can go medial, you can go lower like this too. Yep. So you get all the different traps. Uh, this is a good workout, Brad. Yeah. You're getting your lats in there. There's just, yeah. you it, know, I'm sold on the bands. Well, yeah. I mean, here you can it's just in, simply do triceps. You know, yeah. It's just, infinite. It's infinite. How, how many ways you can work it out. I mean, uh, it's only limited by your imagination, right, Brad? Exactly, Bob. Here we go. So if you want to do some running, indoor running, I found another way with different loops, but this works well too. You know, we got arm motion here. You know, you can do some jogging here. Get some arm motion here. Turning sideways with this. Works better with the loop, but you can still do it this way just so you get your muscles in your hips working a little bit better at a different angle and your ankle muscles so they get strong and stay strong. Brad, we got to show the loops. The, oh. I mean, <laughs> let's know, do it, Bob. No, I think you know, you want the black or the red? Black is good. Red, red doesn't matter for, for this. Now, this is a whole different thing, but if you, if you really want to do the running, uh, on a regular basis, yeah. I would get some of these loops. Yeah. Um, and we'll put a link down below for those too. But and then and you can see you can yeah. do this so much easier. I've been doing these at home. And have you? Yep, instead of the treadmill. Yep. Um, on a day I have to be inside. Uh, if I'm outside, I don't do it. But um, I'm already getting tired. I love yep, it. I was doing the whole same thing. You're working the mu leg muscles. You know, it's better than running in the sense that you're working all sides of the hips. Yep. Yeah. If you go up here into the armpit area, the axillary area, then you start working the core muscle. And I did that too. Uh, yeah, I can. This is all invented by Brad. I don't know if I invented it, but I'm sure. Sure. He uh, introduced it to us anyway. 
So, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, I feel like Seinfeld in that episode. He's in the airport. Yeah. Get those knees up high. If you're Seinfeld's episode. All right. If you're a big fan, it. you'll know what he's talking about. Woo. All right. Nice job, Brad. And uh, check him out. Uh, this will be the way to work out at home with COVID still going on. That's right. You can uh, keep in shape. While, uh, I'm thinking even when it gets warmer. Yeah, hook up anchor to the tree. That's in right. In front of the neighbors, let yeah. them know. How crazy They're all talking are. about you anyway. So that's right. Give them something real to talk about. See you later. <laughs>